There's a reason lever guns were responsible for winning the West. That's because they're, they're accurate and efficient and you can fire them so quickly. There's also another reason they're popular with Americans. It's because they're so darn fun, especially in 22 calibers like this. But because lever actions are regarded as kind of old school, it's become a lost art how to shoot them. So I'm gonna give you a few tips to how to run a lever gun. The whole point of a lever action rifle is not to shoot the gun then run the action from down here. It's to keep the gun shouldered on target and then as quickly as efficiently you can, rack another round so you can get all those shots on target very quickly. There's a technique to do this. First of all, make sure the buttstock is in your shoulder pocket, not outside or not on your chest, but right in that pocket. Then take your support hand and work it as far out as you can. Not like this, but as far out and really grab the end of that forend and pull it to your shoulder. The goal is to get three good points of contact, your cheek, your shoulder pocket, and then your support hand to pull that rifle in to where your trigger hand works independently of the gun. That way you can get on target, stay on target, and simply work the action. From there, make sure your elbow is down and tucked in because if you angle it up, that will cant the gun to the left. So keep that elbow down. Then keep three fingers in the loop of the action. Fire the gun with a good trigger pull and then simply work the action fast without moving the gun. You want to work that action smoothly but also firmly. Your goal is to not let the sights come off the target while you work the action. If you do that, you'll be shooting quickly and accurately with the lever gun, and you'll love it. There's several reasons that lever actions are great for hunting. First, many are designed to shoot large caliber centerfire ammunition like 30-30 or 45-70 that are great for large games such as deer, bear, and hogs. I love a lever gun because the carbines tend to be really short, easy to wield in the woods. I'm gonna load up some of my good herder's ammo here, which is only appropriate because it's an old school name with an old school gun. That is the great thing about lever actions. A lot of times 22s with large magazine tubes, you can get 15 plus rounds. And even in big center fires like 3030s or 4570s, they often hold five to seven rounds. Take this 3030 for example. It's a carbine link rifle that's so easy to carry in the woods, yet it holds seven rounds of 3030 ammunition. And over time, that 3030 ammunition has become more modern. It has better ballistics. Whatever you do, don't sleep on the lever gun. They're great for hunting and they're so dang fun.